So my name is Alejandra Mora. I work at, as a local gender expert at SIAT, but I also work for ILRI. Um, I'm based in Managua, Nicaragua, and I work uh, for the Livestock and Fish Research Program. Um, we are working with the dual purpose cattle value chain in Matiwas and Camuapa, which is in, located in the central area of Nicaragua, um, and where livestock is one of the most important economic activities, um, but it's also very male dominated. Uh, we work with uh, dairy cooper cooperatives and uh, with local organizations. I mainly work with a group of women uh, that they do, they try to influence local policies uh, and most of them are uh, livestock producers and farmers. Um, what we have done, uh, we have developed many workshops and uh, they've been involved in many of the activities. Uh, well, I also work with men, with the men from the cooperatives, and I try to engage them in some of the gender work that we do. Um, but it's more difficult because there's a lot of resistance still to, uh, to open up to the idea of gender. So I think it's important to um, figure out of, like, different ways to reach to people, and especially men, and uh, come up with different, even different words uh, that don't seem as threatening as gender and as um, uh, feminism or, or those types of words that seem to be scary for some people. Um, so one of the interesting things that we have done to engage men in gender work is um, we've developed these uh, radio messages that we did with uh, focus group discussions uh, using techniques uh, such as games and theater um, to get, I guess, more honest messages from them and in a, in a very relaxed environment. I think it's, it's better to have that environment to get um, a clear idea of how people feel and what they think. And we came up with two different uh, radio messages that aired, uh, have been airing for I think the last six months in one of the territories and I think they've been well received. Um, they challenge uh, the way that farms are structured in in gender-wise because they, uh, they aim to, to recognize women's roles in, in livestock production which is, uh, which is one of the biggest challenges in the sector. And, uh, and to question masculinity ideas um, that men have and that actually create more uh, gender differences. Um, so in the end we aim to uh, make women's work more visible and at the same time uh, to get men to, uh, to recognize the, the women's work but also to um, understand that it can be a joint work and it can be a teamwork and that power relations are more harmful than, than, than what they think. Um, and I think people first need to realize this um, in a very natural way to then uh, start changing. Um, and it, I think it's a very long process. I don't think it's something that you can do in a workshop or, or two. I think it's, um, it's something that will probably take many years. And, and well, it's, it's also not only the gender specialist work. I think it, it's something that everyone needs to be engaged in. Everyone in the teams and everyone um, who becomes a bit more aware of the, of the issue. So first I think it's important to get the message across and then uh, to really do something about it from, from the position that you're in which can be uh, any c kind of discipline or any, any sort of position in an organization. Yeah.